So I've never really been a NASCAR fan. Verbally Vicious Nation, how's it going? Like I was saying. Never really been a NASCAR fan. Ever. Got into it briefly. Lost interest in it. Find it uneventful, kind of lame. Occasional fight on pit row. Not too shabby. Um, you know, the accidents are fun as fuck to watch. But it's morbid to sit there and hope for a crash at 200 fucking miles an hour. Fun to watch. Anyway. I do have a beef with one particular NASCAR driver. Um, Tony Stewart. He used to drive for the Home Depot car. Team, Home Depot, whatever. That's the weed again. Um, but... I was working at Home Depot up north in uh, a little town called Bracebridge in the Muskoka region in Ontario. And uh, the little number 20 shopping carts that they have for kids, periodically, high school students from a nearby Catholic high school would jack the shopping carts. One of the little motherfuckers would climb in it then two would push it and they would have races across Home Depot parking lot in a fucking shopping cart anyway as an associate it's my job to retrieve these shopping carts and uh, when I was hired I you know like they knew of my heart condition and uh, the first time it ever come up I said like fuck like I'm not breaking chase for a fucking 17 year old high school student that kid's got more energy in his left leg than I got my fucking body and I ain't chasing him not for a shopping cart but apparently Home Depot pays more than a couple grand for these stupid shopping carts and if they leave Home Depot property it's considered theft usually they don't leave the property they fucking run it across the parking lot right to the end of the parking lot at the little small patch of woods that separates Home Depot from their football field then their high school usually they stop I was working and I worked actually in two departments literally at either end of the store lumber and building materials down here and uh, home and gardening out there because I have construction knowledge and interlock knowledge so they're at opposite ends of the store I'm in the seasonal department one day and I just hear the sounds. You can hear the shopping carts just going, kids laughing. I look out the fucking door and there's two other associates breaking chase, chasing these fucking kids. So I kind of broke into half a jog. Um, but I was already there. I was already that at that end of the store where shit was about to take place. This little douchebag riding in the shopping cart being pushed by two dudes and the one dude was a pretty big dude so they were fucking moving they went down the edge of our fucking parking lot and the shopping cart just stopped cool it hit a hunk of asphalt about yay fucking big broken and the shopping cart went from being pushed by two motherfuckers to zero the kid in it was airborne and landed literally as at, and like this is happening right kind of in front of me he just banged his fucking face off the floor a couple times as he fucking oh poor little motherfucker he shouldn't be stealing shopping carts but bang 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 face plants across the fucking asphalt broken up asphalt to boot both kids pushing took the crossbar in the chest and were down one kid I thought he broke his fucking press plate it was it was brutal. Funny as fuck to watch until you got up to him and you see that there was people fucking hurt. Hurt. I grabbed my little Home Depot based phone and I called the office and I'm like, I think somebody needs to phone an ambulance because we have injured people here. Um, you know, nobody touched them. This is what happened. But so they, the ambulance showed up. Then the police showed up, and they're asking all the questions, who did what, and I just told them, like, I just looked out, and there they were, booking across the fucking parking lot, 
when they went down the hill, the fucker just stopped and bang, bang on his face and fucking bad. And the kid had a hunk out of his fucking face, too. It was terrible. Oh, shouldn't be stealing shopping carts, you stupid, stupid fuck. After about an hour of dealing with the police, they've already taken these kids away. They're fucking hurt. The principals come over begging that they don't press charges. Um, it's fucking bad. So we take our number 20 shopping carts and we wheel them back up and put them where they should go. And I walk into the lunchroom. I took off my stupid orange apron and I put it in my fucking stupid orange locker. And uh, one of the sweet little old lady cashiers, she's a pleasant lady, she said to me, what, what was all the commotion out there? And so I said, like, here's what happened. I looked out, they're fucking running down the hill, bang, bang on his face, bleeding profusely, fucking nasty. And, and she's like, oh, wow, like, people were gathered around listening to this story. And uh, I said, well, I knew they weren't going to make it too far. They're in the number 20 car, so they're going to crash, right? And a couple of the little old ladies sitting right there, they kind of chuckled. But down at the other fucking end, and I mean two complete banquet tables away, eating what looked to be a rather good sandwich, was some fucking idiot that eat like we worked in the same store, but there's no communication between us. He's like, what the fuck did you just say? And, and I looked down, and I'm like, oh, well what had happened was, you know, and then banging on his fucking face and ambulances and police and and he wasn't going to make it far because he's in the number 20 car and apparently this dude was a fucking Tony Stewart fan aficionado perhaps because um, he was quite upset that I said that about his driver and he put his sandwich down and said, you know something? I'm not going to mimic his voice because it's loud and boisterous and it's 9.30 at night and I have people in my fucking house. So I'm not going to act like a retard. But he was loud and fucking boisterous. And he said to me, you know, friends of mine, if they heard you say that, they'd smash your fucking face in. I said, no. 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 If your friends had heard me say that, we might get into a fight today but your your friends aren't just going to fucking smash my face in. You know what I mean? And, and again, he's quite upset and becoming a little bit more aggressive, and I don't do aggression well, so I, I just stood in a way to let him know that if he got close enough to get touched, he was going to be. It eventually, it didn't, it didn't break out into anything. Nothing happened, no physical, but we were in each other's grill. Um... You know what I mean? Things were said that maybe you wouldn't want to say in front of other people's grandmas, but... Anyway, I get taken into a uh, human resources office, sat down, and read a fucking page off the, off the riot act. You should know better than to make jokes like that. We told you during orientation that you can't make gay or lesbian jokes, because what if there was one of them near you? That's how they worded it to me. Like, what if there was one of them near you? Like, it's a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. What if there's one lurking behind the bush? Choose your audience. Don't make gay jokes because there could be one. Don't make racist jokes because you just never know who you're going to offend. And I'm like, yeah, but it's a fucking race car driver. Like, why, why are we having this discussion? Because I didn't make a homophobic remark. I sure as fuck didn't make any racial comments. Like... But it's a company man, too. Like, it's the Home Depot dude. And they're pretty fucking passionate about their shit. They are. It's just part of the Home Depot nature, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, so because of my defamatory fucking comments about Tony, motherfucking Stewart, I was just basically excluded from Home Depot told that there's realistically no need to return to my post the next day. I thought, what the fuck? Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm breaking chase. I'm going to go rescue your fucking shopping cart from these little hooligan Catholic high school student fucking 
jerk offs who are just racing across the parking lot. Um, you know, it was a fucking joke. Didn't matter. So ever since then, I, I don't know who Tony Stewart drives for now, but uh, I hate the motherfucker. I don't care what he's driving. If he is driving a fucking rickshaw, I hope he gets hit by a bus. Fucking asshole. Fuck NASCAR. You know, you want a real sport. Hockey, football, somewhere where somebody gets fucking crunched. You know, again, the accidents are fun, but morbid to watch. But, fuck Tony Stewart. Right in his wrinkly red asshole.